just a quick update for all of you uh, about the uh, the dead 12 volt battery saga that's been happening with these cars. Uh, most of you that have been following all my videos already know um, I was been, I've been monitoring my 12 volt battery just to see what kind of charging habits the car has with it. Uh, my car has been sitting here in the driveway now. Um, First off, let me just uh, repeat from previous videos, uh, I have never had a dead 12 volt battery in mine, and so far my 12 volt battery seems to be holding up just fine. It uh, doesn't mean I'm not going to keep an eye on it until um, there's a solid word from Tesla that the uh, battery problem has been resolved with the 12 volts. Um, now, uh, I did note that the car was keeping the 12 volt battery at an abnormally high voltage for a lead acid battery, specifically I believe um, I'm not sure the exact chemistry, but um, I know it's uh, either a gel cell or AGM, uh, and either of those do not like high voltage uh, float volt. Uh, they prefer like around 13.2 to 13.5 uh, for a float voltage, which means uh, the voltage to keep them topped off. So um, since I've been monitoring it from inside the car, which the only way to test through the 12 volt outlet is when the car is actually on or in a at ready in use state, which means someone's got to be sitting in that driver's seat, or the uh, or a passenger has to touch the touch pa panel to activate and wake the car up. Uh, using the terminal posts that are underneath the uh, the uh, that front nose cone piece, uh, we can measure the car's 12 volt voltage without having to ha have the car now woken up at at ready uh, state. And uh, right now the car has been sitting here for at least a couple hours, untouched, unused. I've not accessed it with the iPhone. I've had the tr the frunk open, uh, which should not make a difference. Um, but uh, yeah, I have the front trunk o frunk open. Um, I did have it closed. I, I tested it earlier in the day after it sat for a couple hours, and the results were exactly the same with the frunk closed. Uh, but this time I left it open because I've been loading things in it taking stuff out, trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Anyways, back to this. Um, the results are disturbing. Focus on that. We're at 13.88 volts. Holding steady. Now the car is out oh, now at 13.89. The car is still charging the battery. Even though it's in an at-rest state. Oh, eh. It's a little hard uh, trying to hold the, the probes on. 13.89. Uh, it's actually been going up. It was at about 13.78 about an hour ago when I tested it. Obviously, I know you guys don't really like all my hour-long videos, so I've been trying to keep them a little shorter for you. 13.8, 13.9, 8.9. There. So that is as you know. Other than. Uh, popping the nose cone off in the morning after it's been sitting all night and the car's had a full charge. Um, this is uh, this, as good as I can get. In fact, I'm going to attempt to do that. The only problem is in the morning I usually end up running out of time. So, um, there you have it. Uh, even with the car at rest, it's still charging at a higher than normal voltage. Hopefully someone at Tesla is watching these videos. I'd, it'd be really awesome if we could get a response from Tesla. Um, if this is normal or designed into it or not. Uh, it is a proprietary system. So, you know, I'm only going on my own observations and experiences. Obviously, I have not built thousands of electric cars. But I have built 26 electric cars. And, uh... I have been dealing with batteries, specifically lead acid batteries for a very long time. It's part of my job. So, take it as you will. See you guys next video.